So if you want to change the fill types to something that's already in your map, let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go over to the mods. I'm going to find the trash fs22 underscore trash collection dot zip. I'm going to open that with WinZip. I'm going to go over to the scripts folder. And I'm going to find the automatic trash can refill dot Lua file. And I'm going to open that with Notepad++ or Notepad, whichever one you have on hand. And if you go down to around line 200 or so, um, I've already added this, so it won't be in your file. You're going to add this line of code that says self colon show fill types parentheses and then uh, semicolon. Add that line of code and then save this file. Well, before you save it, let's go ahead and make the rest of the changes. Um, so the area where the fill types are actually set up is in this function right here called automatic trash can refill or refill trash. So the fill types have names and they have index numbers. So this is an example. Um, when you add that line of code that I just added, and you go run this, you run the uh, uh, farming simulator. In the log file, you'll find a list of all of the of the fill types that are in uh, your map. For example, it, it will print those out here in the log file. And in the Publix map, there are 109, 108 current fill types. So if you wanted to change a fill type in the carry can from river sand to stone, like that, then you would come down and find the com, not the com, uh, the carry can right here. And here's where it fills it with river sand. So you could just change that to uh, whatever fill type that you wanted to fill it to that's in this list. So if I wanted to do stone, I'd simply change this to stone. And now, since that fill type exists in the map, after the first one minute after it's been loaded, it will fill the carry can, which is the big uh, trash can dumpster. It will fill that with stone instead of river sand. So once you've made those two changes, or any additional ones that you want to make to any of the other cans, then you simply save the file, and then you go ahead and come into WinZip, and it says, what do you want to do with the file? You want to update the zip with these changes? Yes, that's what you want to do. So you just update it, and now you go start your game. And so if I go in here and start my game, and then of course you can delete the the folder that you you unzipped. And so the game starts up. 
we'll go find our Publix people map. And we'll just go ahead and run that. And because this is a large map, file size is pretty good size. It takes quite a while to get started. Once it reaches the 95%, we're pretty close. The next thing we'll see is that it brings up the start button. Right about here. There we are. So you start the game, and then you can get out. And if you go to your farming simulator directory, in my case it's right here, and you find log.txt, you can edit that with Notepad++. I've already got it open. I'm just going to update it. And it hasn't been a minute yet, so the file has not gotten updated. But if we just go over here and jump out, uh, we don't have anything in there. Let's go back. Now the file has been updated. We'll reload it. And here is all of our fill types. And we didn't have a carry can on the on the map, so it didn't show anything being updated. But if it if I had a carry can on there then it would have gotten updated. So if we went into here and just purchased a carry can, for example, and then we get out, and then we go into our menu and change the time. Uh, and I'll just open up the debug here for a moment so I can see that the time is advanced. And then we get out and go back into our log file. Um, So you can see that it is has been set to uh, to stone right there. If you go into the into the file and I don't know where the store is. I think it might be here. Uh, I don't know where we put the carry can. No, it's not here. Um, is it around here? I 
don't see it. Okay, where are you? I don't know where it, where it put it. So let's uh, let's do it again. Let's just change the store over here. We'll bring out another can. Okay, there's our can. It's empty. We'll go change the time. Da, 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 da. Let's just watch and see. Okay, it's updated. There we go. So that is the fill type for stone. Not the prettiest stuff in the world, but you see how we're able to change the fill type. That's pretty much it. So again, if you get out and you go update your log file, you can see that the new carry can had nothing in it, and we changed it to 3,000 liters of stone. That's it. That's how you do it. If you got any questions, give me a give me a jangle, and uh, but it's actually pretty easy. Okay, so let's go out here and stop recording.